As airlines try to add capacity to keep up with demand, air leasing company Aircap is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the rebound in travel and the lack of aircraft supply. And it's pushing the stock toward a new all-time high. Phil Lebeau joins us now with the CEO of Aircap, Gus Kelly. Phil and Gus, welcome. Thank, Thank you, Kelly. Kelly. Gus, I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, I'm curious, uh, you heard Kelly set up there, and you're seeing what's happening in terms of demand around the world. What, what's your take as you look into 2024, especially when it comes to international travel? Phil, it's good to be on. It's pretty robust all around the world. When it comes to international traffic out of the U.S., the biggest market in the world, the most lucrative, is the North Atlantic market. And that's still booming. We don't see that changing. But, Phil, a real driver of airline profitability for the medium term is going to be the supply environment. The worst enemy of the airlines is too many seats chasing too few passengers. And so long as we have more passengers than we have seats, things are going to be fine. And the issues that the industry faces because of the production problems with Boeing, with Airbus, and then the durability of the airplanes when they get into service is, in my view, going to result in supply shortages for the rest of the decade. You think the rest of this decade we see a supply shortage, e even as we start to gradually see an increase in production from Boeing and from Airbus? Well, Phil, they will produce more aircraft. Now, since 2018, if you just took 2018 as the regular weight production level of Boeing and Airbus, we're almost 3,000 aircraft light of that over what they've managed to produce in the last five years. So if they had kept 2018 production levels um, throughout the last five years, there'd be 3,000 more aircraft in the world. Bear in mind, Boeing and Airbus will only make about 1,200 aircraft a year. So even when they do get back to those levels of production, the challenge that faces the industry is the technology of these aircraft. The aircraft and the engines just it? do not... Say that again, Phil. I'm sorry to interrupt you there, Angus. Are you comfortable with that technology? Or are you saying, e even as you see advancements in things like fuel efficiency and lower emissions, uh, the technology is just not developing fast enough? It's not durable enough, Phil. It will get better. But the problem is, when the engines come off wing faster than anyone expected, the network isn't there to repair these engines, the parts aren't there to repair them, the spare engines aren't there. So at a simple level, historically you might have needed 10 aircraft to fly a certain route, now you need 11. And in Aircap's position, we are the largest owner of aircraft in the world by a country mile, to be honest. Uh, we're the largest owner of spare engines in the world, and we've seen significant increases in aircraft values, lease rates. And the way the airlines are reacting, Phil, is what they're doing is they're saying to me, we need to hold on to these older aircraft for much longer than we ever thought, because we cannot rely on the durability of the new technology assets, and it's going to be a long time before Boeing and Airbus get back to the levels of production they want. So we see that lasting, as I said, for the best part of the rest of this decade.